Brianna surveyed a representative sample of students at her school to collect data about the numbers of internet compatible devices they own. Part A, estimate how many of the 300 students who attend Brianna's school own exactly two internet compatible devices Explain. So let's do part A. It says explain how many, uh, estimate, sorry, estimate how many of the 300 students who, who attend Brianna's school own exactly two internet compatible devices. So if for two devices, there are 25 out of the total that we have here surveyed are 50. So if we add up these numbers, 10 plus 25 plus 15, we get 50. So out of 50 students surveyed, 25 of these students had two devices. Now the question is, what if now instead of having 50 as our size we're gonna sample, what if we have 300 as the total population? What would our X be? How many of these students now would we estimate to have the devices, two devices? So 50 times X and 25 times 300. 50 times X is equal to 25 times 300. Now, 25 times 300 is going to give us 50x is equal to 7,500. Now, we want to get x by itself. We need to get rid of this 50. So in order for us to get rid of the 50, we have to divide by 50 since we're multiplying. So we divide that side by 50, we divide this side by 50, and we get 50 divided by 50. 50s cancel out, since 50 divided by 50 is gonna give me one. So I get X by itself here, and 7,500 divided by 50 will give me 150. So how many of the 300 students do we expect to have only two internet compatible devices, exactly two, we will expect to have 150 of these students. And I should put about here, about, because it's not gonna be exact. There's gonna be close to 150 students. So it's gonna be a proportion, and that's gonna be my answer. Now, the next question, part B says, Draw a valid inference about students who own exactly one device. So we have to draw an inference on students that own exactly one device. What can we say? One device is uh, from 50 students, 10 of these students own exactly one device. Now, compared to two devices, we can say that the number of students that own two devices is more than twice the number of students that own one device. Or we could say that less than half of, the, of many students that own one device as, as students who own two devices. That means the same thing, just different, different ways of saying it. So I can say less than half as many students on one device the students who own two devices. And that's a valid inference. The number of students that own one device, it's around half the students that own two devices. And that's a good inference.